Hello everybody, English Woodsman here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. More so, thank you very much for clicking on my video. Now, when I'm out camping, I am a side sleeper. And basically, one time I struggled to get a good night's sleep on camping mats. Budget camping mats, let's say. I never really found the interest in spending under and odd pound on a really good air mat. What I might only use three or four times of the year. But and then I came across the Unigear P3 regular wide air mat now what i'm going to do is i'm going to get this out of the sack that it comes in but the sack is actually a blow bag as well you connect this point here to the bottom of your air mat itself and you can inflate it that way So what I meant a minute ago about the stuff sack can become the air pump as well. The base has got to open the valve. This is at the bottom of the air mat. And you just push it in so it clips in place. It's a tight fit, but that's so good so the air don't push itself out when you've got quite a bit of air pressure inside. Now I've seen some people on YouTube start waving this around like this. So what you just need to do is blow some air into it. So just while I keep blowing the mat up, what I'm going to do is put some bits of information on the screen for you now. So you can see it all for yourself. It just saves me having to remember everything and probably get it wrong. If you can see inside the air pad there, you've got a little valve. So no matter how much pressure is built up on the inside, it won't leak out, but the minute you press it, it releases the air out of the mat. So it's like a quick release for when you're packing back up and getting ready to go home in the morning. And plus what that helps with is when you're blowing the mat up with your mouth, you're not forever fighting, trying to keep the air what you put in from coming back out. Now I do keep saying mat, I do keep saying pad. I call them air mats, air pads, whatever I call them. It's up to you what you like to call them. But yeah, I'll, I'll always say one or the other. So that's what that's good for. So I filled it. The little valve there is slowly starting to you know, bulge out this way, but not much pressure I put on it, it's still not leaking out. And it goes on with a tight fit as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to release just a little bit of that pressure. So when I'm sleeping on this air mat, I don't like it blown up to its full, as you can do it. Right, now I'm going to show you why it's extremely comfortable. So the R rating of this mat is 2. I've used it all year round. You can see it in all my videos. I always come to this one to use. So if everyone's going to ask, it's R rating 2. Now I think you can see by the full length of the mat, it starts to look a little bit different, doesn't it? So you've got here, each side of the mat, it curves up a little bit. So that makes it a really comfortable layer if you're a back sleeper as well. What I mean by if you sleep on your back, so you're comfortable there. And these way it comes up here, it's extremely comfortable when you're a side sleeper. Now the thing what made a lot of difference for me is, you see here, from there to there, it's actually wider. So this goes just above your hips here. And that really makes a lot of difference when I'm camping and sleeping on this mat because that's where I get a lot of my pain in the mornings when I sleep on the cheaper air mats. But that there, just that bit of race part there, is extremely comfortable on my side, and that's what made a massive difference. And then you can come here again, it goes up a bit more, so your legs are slightly raised up, and that is even better. Honestly, I'm not just saying, I couldn't explain it enough how comfortable this air mat is. You even got where your puller is up here. I hope you can see it right. Yep. This part here is raised as well. And then even though this part here is raised up, where your feet go at the bottom, 
that's raised up higher so it's all different levels and that's what gives it the extremely comfortable sleep but for myself it was this point here so the point what i'm on about is just there that's the chunk of it what made the difference so when i'm sleeping on this air mat overnight you see how it just sort of like supports my belly a little bit that's what makes it comfortable and then when you got your puller you saw it, it's really comfortable honestly and then when you go down to your feet like i said the bottom half of it raises up so your body sort of like goes in a nice shape but this part here is what makes the difference now i know a lot of other people i've got this air max i've seen it on my channel and they totally agree with me the amount of messages i've had from people saying you're right about the air mat i'm happy people do take my uh word on stuff yeah like i said the r rate is only two but if you use something like this heat reflecting mat underneath you you can use it all year round and i've done just the same as that I've used it in hot tents, bivvies, everything like that. If you're a subscriber to my channel, you've probably seen it all already. If you want to see more videos like this and me camping and other bits, do consider hitting that subscribe button. But yeah, I'll share a link in the description for this uh, air mat from Amazon. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tell you a little bit of information about it because people will ask. And I've got it all written down just so I don't go wrong. So like I said, the value rate is two. So at the thickest point here, and probably near the bottom foot, three inch thick, that leaves 7.5 centimeters. It's water repellent, not waterproof or all like that. 40D 310T nylon. That's what it says on the site. I think I shared all that on the screen earlier for you anyway. 36 pounds, well, 36 pound 99 per on Amazon right now. It's been rolled, tested at 100 kg. So basically they've inflated it, they put it on a machine at 100 kg and they rolled the uh, machine over it, no leaks. I've had this for about a year, a year and a half. I've slept on it a lot of times. And it's probably the only one that has lasted for so long. Now, this is the regular one. You can get a larger one. The regular size of it is 186 centimeters. 73 inches in case you like to go through it that way from the top to the other side the width of it let's say that is 64 centimeters 25 inches i do it in inch because some people like it like that now the pack down size is 38 centimeters by 12 centimeters by 12 centimeters inflates in 12 to 15 pumps of the pump that i showed you at the beginning of the video but end of it i got a bit sick of blowing it bag and up i just you know blew in it you can use one of the air pumps i've said that before but honestly if you're looking for this air mat you've searched it up on youtube you, you want to see somebody review on it take my advice take my word on it it's going to be the best air mat that you've had for a long time if you're looking for a budget one anyway if you've got 100 130 pounds to go spend on one of the extreme expensive ones you know you could do that but if you just want a budget one you're starting out with you you know you're camping and stuff get this air mat first you can get it in blue as well and also like i just said you can get it in large but it's a comfortable sleep even if you're on your back like this i said earlier but the sides come up like that it just you know what i mean it just gives you that really comfortable lay and just like that i'm extremely comfortable but because I sleep on my right hand side, that's how it is. And once again, that center piece there, it just supports the top of the hips into the belly area. I've got a bit of a podgy belly, I'm, I'm not bothered saying that, to be true for you. But yeah, it just gives it that nice support. And then just below the hips on the other side, uh, further down, it just goes up a little bit more just to support your legs. Now, I'm, I'm not having you on honestly this is my best air mat that I've got and for a budget one what more do you need how much was it again 37 pound you know 16 uh, 36.99 so let's say you know 37 pound I do I do like this air mat and I am going to use it a lot more I may even consider buying the larger size good air mat 
you know what? I'm going to end this video here now. So thank you for watching. If you want to see a camping video where I'm using this air mat, I'll put this up here for you. First time seeing my channel and you want to watch more of me, hit this here. You better subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time. So if you're a regular watcher, thank you very much. You know I'll see you guys in a short time.